don't even consider the anti-slavery issue and they've not been asked to. What's your view about that? Well, you'll have to wait for our views on this, but they're very interesting. But before that, Baroness O'Grady of Upper Holloway had a very interesting question. Do you agree with the former Prime Minister Theresa May that recent immigration legislation drives a coach and horses through support for modern slavery victims? So, um, firstly, I think it's really important to acknowledge the important work that Theresa May has done in this space, and I commend her for her ongoing efforts. Um, it's been critically important to victims and um, the sector to um, her ongoing vocal um, support in this area. Um, I agree with her that if the Illegal Migration Act is implemented and the provisions within it um, that pertain to modern slavery go ahead, it will have an incredibly negative effect on victims and survivors of modern slavery in this country. And I think it will also make law enforcement's job an awful lot harder. Well, I think there's no surprises there, are there, my friends? But it was what Lord Watts asked after that maybe do a bit of a proper double take. I was previously a member of the Trade Committee that looked at the trade deals that are being do done around the world. So I was amazed to find that the negotiators don't even consider the anti-slavery issue and they've not been asked to. What's your view about that? Um, I think that is uh, deeply disappointing. Uh, DBT is one of the departments that I have met with and spoken to and I do think have a really important role to play in this space mm. and that's also touched upon the point that I was making about I think it's critical that all government departments understand how they can be involved in tackling modern slavery and there should of course be an awareness in DBT and in the trade deals themselves about <coughs> those conversations and what they should be putting in the trade deals. In your discussions, have they given you indication that in the future they will? So the minister I met with was incredibly passionate about modern slavery, Minister Ghani, um, and actually really committed to um, doing all that she could. I don't know which trade deal she's specifically responsible for in her post, um, but I think she is looking at everything that the department can do um, to really improve particularly transparency in supply chains, but looking more broadly at tackling wider labour exploitation too. Do you believe Anus Garner? Sorry if I butchered your name when Eleanor Lyons said that the Minister of State for Europe is incredibly passionate about modern slavery and committed to doing all that she could. Well, with this government's recent immigration legislation clearly driving a coach and horses through it, I have my doubts. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care my friends.